Well, a well-traveled intersection in Kakaanko has been closed for months now because of a sinkhole, and the closure is impacting local businesses and frustrating drivers. KNTV4's Chloe Markley has more on their challenges and what kind of progress is being made. The intersection of Halakuila and Cook Streets has been closed since October because of this massive sinkhole. I spoke with local residents and business owners who are pushing for the city to make repairs and make them quickly. This is a really main busy uh, street and intersection. A lot of people are going into downtown into um, downtown or south location and they no longer have the access to go this way. So I am losing all those people who would normally pass by either through car or even walking. A lot of people don't want to walk through all this construction as well. The sinkhole was discovered a few months ago and has been causing issues for businesses, drivers and residents ever since. The sake shop owner Nadine Leong, along with other business owners, say their businesses have been suffering due to a lack of parking. They also say new customers are having trouble finding their business because of the road closures. Uh, they see everybody turning around and they're thinking that, oh, there's no parking, but I, I wish they, the road close sign over here, I wish they would put a, a sign saying lot open, not road close, that's negative. We want to be positive. Owners and residents are very relieved to hear that repairs are underway, even though it has been disruptive. It's a little noisy for the tenants in the front of the building. Repairs finally began last week after the Department of Design and Construction discovered a broken sewer line break in the sinkhole. DDC and the Department of Environmental Services are working very hard to make the repairs. Leong says she hopes repairs are made quickly so traction for her business picks up again. They get frustrated because they're, it's so unexpected and then when they try to go one way um, up the street, they get uh, discouraged, they turn around, go to the side, they get discouraged, they have to go back around. So it's just a very uh, frustrating situation for a lot of the people who are not aware of the intersection. The Office of Economic Revitalization is listening to businesses' concerns and says it has provided maps to businesses so they know exactly where construction is taking place, where streets are blocked off, and where on-street parking is available for their staff and customers. The city is also working on adding more signage to the area to redirect drivers to the location of the businesses. The sinkhole is expected to be repaired in a few months, which will allow for this intersection to open. And of course, we'll keep you updated on that progress. Reporting in Kaka'ako, Chloe Markley, KITV4, Island News.